I'm just craving chocolate milk now. Okay, can you stay? Literally just need you to chill for the intro, please. All right, so today it is foundation Friday. This is where I do a new first impression video every single Friday on my channel. Super excited. We're talking about this thing just wants to be free. This is a brand new foundation by Milk Makeup. I was super intrigued by this because pretty much the claims are like exactly what I would describe my perfect foundation to be. I haven't had good luck with Milk Makeup products in the past. I actually can't really think of one that I like, but this is a new product. We'll see how it is. There's something about the name of this brand though that I love. I don't know if it's just because I love milk or I love their font. I wanna know the story behind this brand because I just think it's so great that someone named a makeup brand milk. Can we be friends? Do you get one fluid ounce of product in here, which is standard for foundation, but it retails for $40. So this is not a cheap foundation. You can get milk makeup on Sephora. Let's read some of the claims. It says it's a full coverage, water thin foundation that provides weightless long wear matte finish. Silicone free formula won't clog pores. It's supposed to blur, minimize the appearance of pores, fine lines, imperfections, cruelty free, vegan, made in the US, silicone free, dimethicone free. So, I mean, this sounds like heaven. They launched this foundation with 16 shades. I have the lightest shade, which is fair. The description on fair says fair with pink undertones and the deepest shade says deep with neutral undertones. So I'm gonna start swatches right here so you can see how this shade compares to some of the other foundation shades I have in use. Whoops. All right, so swatch time right here is the Milk Makeup Foundation in the lightest shade. Next over is Pure Cosmetics Bear It All in Porcelain. Next to that's Dermacol 208. Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110. I actually really hate this foundation. I just include this in swatches because it's a drugstore foundation that a lot of people know the shade of or have tried out, so you can compare it to that. And then last is Urban Decay Naked Foundation in 0 0.5. So those are all the claims on this guy. I always have my Foundation Friday playlist link down below if you wanna watch past Foundation Fridays. But if you're excited for this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Super quick two second announcement for you guys before we jump into it. The next 15 days of foundation series dates will be announced in next week's Foundation Friday video. Super excited. That's coming up super soon now. Dates will be announced in next week's video. If you wanna see how the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid, is oh, done? I didn't even say that. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Matte Foundation. Great intro. If you want to see how it applies and wears throughout the day, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. All right, so right now it's a 9.08. Oh, and my phone is charging in the wall. I've washed, moisturized, and primed my face with my usual, which will be linked down below in the description box, but we're going to go in with this foundation. I have a task rabbit coming in like an hour to help me put together something. So. so I really enjoy this packaging. I feel like this is one of my favorite foundation packagings in a while. I don't know what it is about it, but it almost looks like it's like an art piece on display or something. I have a full description of what the foundation is on the back of here, which is also nice. So I have the shade Fair. You guys will have already seen swatches, but I have not. Literally everything that this says it is, is very appealing to me. Like that's exactly what I want in foundation. So I'm super curious about this. I'm gonna give it a little shake just in case. I tried to scrub off all of the fake tan that I had on this morning. I think there's still a tiny, tiny bit, but this is pretty close to my normal skin tone. For some reason, I thought this was gonna have like a click top, but it's actually twist off. It's a bit thinner than I was expecting. It just looks like kind of a normal liquid foundation consistency. It is running a tiny bit. I'm gonna do half my face with my sponge I always use, and then the other half with either the Morphe E31 or this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I kinda wanna try out this e.l.f. one. It's a little bit more flimsy than what I usually like. This one's definitely more dense, so I might try them both out, I don't know. But let's try out the sponge first on this side of my face. Clearly I've got a lot to cover up down here right now. It says it's full coverage. I brought my coffee cup heat warmer thing in from the office space I had in here, so now my coffee is permanently hot. Best decision I ever made. Ooh. Off the bat, whoa. Looks like skin. That looks really nice. It almost looks like a silicone based foundation. And I used like not even a third of the amount that I squeezed out and that went pretty far. The shade looks pretty spot on, maybe a half a shade too light right now, but when the rest of the tanner comes off, I think this would be perfect. I didn't have to go back in with product. The amount that I squeezed out that you guys saw worked for half my face but this does seem to be full coverage with that sponge. That looks that looks good. Okay, let's see how it does with the brush on the other side. I'm wondering if it's gonna dry down totally matte because right now it actually looks like more of a satin finish, which I like. Ooh, feels really lightweight. It definitely isn't set down, that just totally transferred, but it feels super lightweight on my skin. I don't know why I'm really drawn to this brush right now. I wanna try out this brush. Yeah, so definitely more of a flimsy brush than 
what I usually use. Ooh, look at that. It smells like oranges. Yeah, it smells very citrusy. I'm not usually a citrus scent kind of person, but I don't mind it. It just smells kind of refreshing. Dude, that looks nice. I like how it's applying with this brush too. I feel like I'm getting actually a tiny bit better coverage on the brush side, but I think it looks nice on both. Yeah, this one I did get better coverage for sure. The tone of this and everything, I'm really into right now. I hope this doesn't oxidize. I mean, damn, like there's nothing to complain about right now. It looks really good around my nose, the center of my forehead. It doesn't look matte though. Even on this side where it's been on for probably a couple minutes now, this side of my face with the brush, I don't feel like I need to do a second layer, build anything up at all. I feel like I got great coverage. This side down here, I do wanna see if I can get a little bit more coverage. So I'm gonna go in with just a super tiny amount and that brush. Builds great. It almost looks like the ordinary foundation, but better coverage, and hopefully it doesn't look like pure shit in an hour. But the way that this is sitting on my skin kind of reminds me of that. At this point right now, I am loving this. I'm impressed, this is rare. It's not clinging anywhere, it looks beautiful right now. I don't know if I wanna set this. I don't set every foundation with powder. I have certain foundations that definitely on my skin with the texture wear and look a lot better throughout the day without powder and vice versa. So it really just depends on the product. I kinda just go by feel. Since this is supposed to be long wearing and matte, I kinda wanna see how it just wears throughout the day on its own. It also feels nice and almost like dry to the touch. I could easily blend product on top of this right now, I think. It is still transferring though. So if transfer really bothers you, this is definitely transferring when I just touch my face. Setting could potentially help with the transfer. Right now it's 920. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup, decide if I want to do a powder at all, and I'll be right back. All right, so it's now 950, so it's been on for about a half hour. We're going to call the tracking time 930 since that's pretty much when I finished up with my face makeup. I did not end up setting this. I did use a tiny bit of powder, just whatever was left over from my under eyes. I just put it on the center of my face, but I didn't do like a full on all over face powder. I think the one thing I wouldn't agree with as far as claims on this foundation is matte. It doesn't look matte at all to me. I mean, my forehead is pretty dewy right now. If you're like a matte, matte kind of person and you're buying this for that reason, this one isn't totally matte, but it looks freaking gorgeous. Every time I would go to grab a product and then come back to the mirror, I would just like stare at my skin because it looks so good right now. I'm really hoping this wears well throughout the day because right now I'm in love with it, but we will see. I did a clip in natural lighting. I'm gonna start it right here so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, I need to show you guys this magic right now in natural lighting. So this is right after I just applied it. It's been on for about 20 minutes now. I mean, look at my skin right now. I have a shit ton of texture and it just kind of like smoothed everything over right now. Looking pretty satin, almost dewy at this point. All right, so on the rest of my face, I tried to use the bronzer from the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette, which was kind of a fail on my skin tone. It's just straight up orange. That's the bronzer shade, but I did end up using this highlight shade. I also used the Becca Rose Quartz highlight. I just kind of topped the Chrissy Teigen one off with this. After trying the Becca bronzer, I went in with this Flower Beauty bronzer right here. This shade, this is medium to deep. Oh, is there a light one? Just a kind of basic eye makeup. I'm not trying to have a full on smoky eye for this task rabbit coming. I use the Morphe 25B palette. And then on lips, I used Lancome. Not even attempt to say this, 202. Pretty sheer, but it's just like a peachy kind of nude. And then I topped that off with MAC lip gloss. When was the last time I used a freaking MAC lip gloss? I feel like I was in like sixth grade. This is in the shade Myth. And I really like this. I feel like they reformulated these a little bit because they're much more comfortable than I remember. They're not like super sticky. And I think that's everything. Went in with my normal mascaras, which will be listed down below. So next check and I do will be natural lighting. I'm also vlogging today. I'm like 90% done finishing up organizing this makeup room and then I'm gonna have a full apartment tour. I know some of you guys have been asking about that. Apartment tour will be coming. This was like the last room and then the thing the task grab is doing today is like the last steps before it's done. I'll see you guys in a few hours. Okay, so it's now 3.20, so it's been on for six hours. I'm starting to feel crappy again, so I'm just gonna make this a quick check-in. But clearly I am looking very oily. The foundation itself actually still looks really good. It's not like creasing anywhere or caking up. I'm just oily. So I'm actually gonna try blotting. I never really blot, but we're gonna try it out. So I have these papers. How am I gonna hold the camera and do this at the same time? One thing I noticed for sure is that this transfers. I'm actually really curious to see how much of the foundation comes off on here and how much of just my oil. When I leaned my hand on my face, it full on came off on my hand. So this is definitely 
not transfer proof at all. Okay, I don't know if I can do this actually with one hand. Okay. We're at a weird angle, but I'm gonna try and blot. I have my mirror. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's definitely taking off a lot of my oil. I'm gonna try a little bit more on my forehead because I'm still looking really oily up here. Definitely didn't take off all of the foundation and helped to take off some of my oil, but I feel like every time I try to blot, it doesn't look that much better. <laughs> That's why I never blot. I'm gonna go get a powder and I think I'm gonna powder my face because this is a foundation I can tell that I would need to powder my face with since I'm this oily six hours in. I still like the way the actual foundation is looking though. Like it looks good, it hasn't creased or anything. I'm just oily, so I'm gonna go grab a powder and be right back. Right, so I'm gonna powder my face with the Laura Geller Balance and Bright Brighton powder. And I'm just gonna do the center of my face. See if this helps with the oil situation for the rest of the night. Alrighty, that's looking better. Okay, now that I've blotted and added some powder, it looks really good. Kind of looks like I just put the foundation on now. So here it is after six hours, after touching up with powder. So I'm gonna keep wearing this throughout the night, obviously, and I'll see you guys in a few hours. So it is now 7.53, so it's been on for almost 10 and a half hours. Let's take a look up close. I am really oily. Like my oil just keeps coming through with this thing. I'm kind of shocked I'm still this oily even after blotting and powdering just a few hours ago. That being said, it's still not breaking down, which I like. Like the actual foundation is still holding up. Tried to figure out a good primer and powder with this that kept me the most matte. I think I would really like this because I love the fact that it hasn't broken down. I love just how it looks on my skin. It doesn't look heavy or cakey anywhere and that's rare for me. It also isn't majorly creasing like on my upper lip or anything. And for being on for 10 and a half hours, my forehead and everything look pretty good for me. So I definitely don't think this one was matte at all, even on the get-go. If you're dry or normal, this one actually might work out really well for you. If you're more oily like I am, you'll just have to find something that works. I do think it's oxidized a little bit. It's a tiny bit hard to tell. You can kind of see on my neck right here, but I just went outside to get my Postmates. <laughs> I saw my reflection in a window and I definitely looked like my face was darker than my neck. So I think it has oxidized a little bit because I think when I first put it on, it looked a little bit light. So just keep that in mind. But overall, I think this foundation is really nice. I just think I'm oily. All right guys, so I have it on a different day and I'm wearing the foundation with the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder in the shade five over top of it. It's three o'clock right now. I put it on at 8 a.m. this morning. This is six hours of wear. And as you can see, I'm much less oily. It looks freaking beautiful. Really like it with this powder. It just went on beautifully this morning and it's wearing really well. So I'm liking this milk thing, feeling it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Get excited for next week's Foundation Friday when we announce the 15 Days of Foundation dates. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.